Good afternoon and welcome to this week's uh, edition of Fin Week Money Matters. Remember, this is the show that helps you manage your finances. I'm Dumisho Greater. Coming up on the show today, we'll be learning more about a new website that takes the hassle out of finding a venue. And then we'll be discussing the outlook for retailer ShopRite. And then we'll be joined by a panel of experts to take a look at the outlook for banking stocks. But before we get into all of that, do remember that we welcome your comments. So do uh, send through to us. You can email us to uh, moneymatters at avn360.com. But first, let's take a look at this week's Killer Trade. South Africa's biggest food retailer, ShopRite, has seen its share price come under pressure as investors fret over the impact of rising food prices and interest rates on consumer spending. ShopRite, whose brands also include Checkers and YouSave, also seem to be losing market share to its rival Pick and Pay. Uh, that turnaround strategy seems to be bearing fruit. Uh, this scenario paints a bleak picture for ShopRite, but uh, let's find out from our technical analyst, Mushima Gama about what the outlook for the retailer is. Mushima, lovely to have you back there in Cape Town. Looking at uh, ShopRite's share price uh, over the past year, it's down about 14%. What's been driving this though? Um, you know, a lot of the sentiment was just, uh, you know, just people being skeptical about the macros involved, well, that are in the food industry. I mean, the main concern now has been the drought and the weakening rand. And if you compound those two, that has um, actually increased the operational costs. But besides that, it's, it's, I mean, if you look at the sector itself, a lot of the shares have really not, they've, they've, they've done pretty well. The sector has done well. So it looks like a very share preferential thing. Um, pick and I mean in all fairness ShopRite hasn't really plummeted it's just kind of dwindled sideways. Mm. One of the uh, big things for ShopRite in terms of its attractiveness was its African strategy but of late uh, we've been seeing a lot of uh, companies here in South Africa having issues uh, the latest one that comes to mind is Truett pulling out of Nigeria in terms of the African expansion. Woolworths pulled out of Nigeria a couple of years ago. And of course, MTN, we know the issues that are currently there. The outlook for ShopRite's African strategy, are they the ones that are getting it right? You know, at, at least, I mean, they're really getting this African expansion story right, as you said, compared to their um, the peers. And I think it's because of the target market, which is predominantly the lower income band. Um, I actually feel like that would be the winning streak um, in the long term where they will get a lot of their profits being reaped from other African countries. And like you've said, it is a rough diamond, so it's a very good long term exposure for them or investment. I mean, in the, um, in the financials, they did report a 15% uh, increase in their sales from other African countries despite any economic limitations. So it is picking up and it will be the shining um, retail share compared to its peers. Mm. Uh, pick and Pay uh, has been known for stickies and we've got brand match that's coming through. Um, what do you think the outlook is for ShopRite taking into, you know, taking into a consideration its competitors like the, uh, Pick and Pay and Woolworths? Okay, so look, ShopRite is still kind of underperforming shares, but it seems like they're gaining a bit of um, investor popularity because your shop, your rather your pick and pays, woolies, and your spas are looking a bit overextended um, and overpriced. So at this point, invest still could be a bit of a six to switch out of expensive stocks into a ShopRite, which has a lot of upside potential. And um, looking at the charts, that 150 mark seems uh, quite prominent, and it's already trading above that level, which means that we could then see upside to about the 180 mark. So that will be upside within its overall um, downside trend. Above that, um, we could then see it getting into a new bull trend completely for the next five years. So I would really start nibbling into it or getting out of more expensive stocks into um, like your shop, right? Mushima, thank you so much, as always, for giving us uh, those uh, analysis. Mushima Gama coming up to us uh, from our Cape Town studio. Up next, let's take a week at this week's cover story.